how how difficult it is to convert. I mean, in terms of the zoning from the city, what what are your thoughts on that? I mean, tell us. Some well, questions. you know, in 2019, before COVID, when we approached cities, they were they were kind of they'd scratch their head a little bit and they'd say, "Well, yeah, we do need you know we could use these these units. They're priced affordably, you know, but are you going to be able to get people in them when they're so small?" And you know, they were kind of a little bit hesitant. But since we went through COVID and since so many hotels have become, you know, distressed assets, these cities are like, we don't want this thing sitting empty. We don't want a bank owning it and sitting empty. You know, if you can turn it into this, go for it. We'll work with you to get the zoning right. So their their attitude has really changed since COVID to, you know, in our favor. Well, I'm I'm also feeling the same thing. You know, I'm by the way, David, you know that I'm buying a uh, 150 unit hotel. Uh, in Sierra Vista and converting into assisted living and city officials are all over the place. They want that to be converted. They don't want that to be sitting idle. Uh, they want it to be converted into a space which can be utilized for some sort of living, permanent living. Right now, the hotel is running below capacity. They are probably running at 20, 30% capacity only. And they have the fear that you know owners may walk away, current owners may walk away uh, so they are very much willing to work with us to do whatever we, I mean, they are very cooperative, let's just put it this way. 